Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hey parents, did you know that I have dyslexia? Yeah, for people with dyslexia like me or other learning challenges, things like reading and focusing can be hard. But did you know we also are known for having superpowers? Well, as a homeschooling family, we've tried countless reading programs for our family that just have not been very helpful until now. A few months ago, we began a new journey with the Nectar Group. They have a completely different approach that uses neuroscience to evaluate and resolve the root causes of learning difficulties. Monday through Thursday, my son spends an hour one-on-one with one of their coaches on video as they work together towards accomplishing his goals. It's still early in the journey, but we are seeing noticeable growth in the areas he scored lowest in during the pre-evaluation. I'm going to update you further in six weeks as we track the progress. If I see success in this program for our family, I will be shouting it from the rooftops. So visit the link down below in the show notes to learn more about The Nectar Group or go to thenectargroup.com. And now back to the show. Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by Sebastian and Naomi. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for a really stinky, stinky story? (gasps) Me too. Let's go. One day, Sebastian and Naomi were playing in their playroom. They loved to play with cars and blocks and build all kinds of different really fun places. They had amazing imaginations. Hey, Sebastian, could you hand me those blocks over there? Yeah, here they are, said Sebastian. Naomi was working on a really big house, a house that she was going to fill with people and furniture and all kinds of really cool things for her house story. Sebastian was working on a racetrack. Zoom, zoom. All right, kids, it's time to do our chores. Sebastian and Naomi, it was time for their chores. Everyone has chores, and some are a little, might be a little stinkier than others. Well, today's chore was the garbage. They needed to bring out all the trash in their house to their garbage can and then bring their garbage can out to the street for pickup. Do you know where the trash goes? Yes, Sebastian and Naomi, when they do their chore and they collect all the garbage throughout their house, they put it in a bag, they put it in their trash can, and then they put it in their big trash can outside and roll it out to the street. But Then where does it go? Yes, garbage trucks. Garbage trucks are really cool machines. They drive just like a truck, but they have a big claw, right? And that claw comes up and picks up the garbage can and dumps the trash into the garbage truck's back carrier. And then where does it go? Yeah, sometimes it might go, some of the stuff might go to the recycle center or it might go to the garbage dump. Yes, and it's a very important job because otherwise our house and our neighborhood and our place would be very, very smelly, right? Oh, yes. We would have to wear clothespins on our nose all the time because it would be just too stinky. Well, Sebastian and Naomi finished their chore. Whew, that was extra stinky today, said Naomi. Oh, I know, I could barely breathe, said Sebastian. They came back inside after rolling the big garbage can out to the street, 
and continued playing. The rest of the day was very normal, but something terrible happened overnight. <sighs> hey, good morning, Naomi, said Sebastian. Naomi and Sebastian had just woken up the next day. The next part of their chore was to go out to the street and bring back the garbage can that was now empty. But as they walked out to the street, Naomi was the first one to find the stinky mess. What? They never came. That's weird. I wonder if our neighbor's cans... Oh my, I can smell it from here. They looked around and their entire street, everybody's garbage cans were still there. Full of smelly garbage. That's weird. Maybe they're running behind. Ha 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 ha! High up in Dr. Stinky Breath's secret blimp lab, he was flying over the neighborhood. All right, purple ninjas. I love this plan. If we can get rid of all the garbage trucks, then the world will be stinky again. Ha ha ha! Yes, boss. We've been working very hard. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, we've, we've been working very hard and... And uh, we we tied up all the garbage trucks and hid them in the forest. Yes, that's exactly right. What are you talking about? We just hid them in the forest? Is there a, a, a better place for us to put them? Because I don't want the spy team to mess up our plans and, and get the garbage trucks back. We must protect them and never let them get back. I want the world stinky again. Ah, 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 ah. Oh no, this is terrible. Well, Sebastian and Naomi ran back inside. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, their garbage was still sitting in their trash cans outside. Can you imagine if no one came to pick up our garbage? Yeah, garbage truck drivers are really important because they keep us clean and not stinky and the germs in our trash they take it away but oh no now there's a lot of really stinky germs oh it smells so bad again why did the garbage trucks just stop where are they said sebastian naomi was not convinced i think i don't think they gave up i think something bad happened i bet dr stinky breaths involved because if there's something stinky going on, he's got to be close by. Bzz, 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 bzz. <gasps> you know what that means, shouted Naomi. Sebastian and Naomi raced upstairs to their bedrooms to check their spy beeper. Sebastian and Naomi, this is HQ. We have a terrible news. Unfortunately, the smell that you're smelling in your neighborhood is all over the whole city and spreading to nearby cities as well. We believe that Dr. Stinky Breath has taken hostage all the garbage trucks, and we need your help. We're going to send you the coordinates of the last known position of garbage trucks. Good luck. Oh no! I was right! said Naomi. All right, what does it say? What do we got to do? Let's go! Sebastian was so excited and so ready to get saving the day. He really loved saving the day. <laughs> he was already grabbing his spy gear by the time Naomi had figured out where they were going to go. All right. I think it says we just we need to fly just a couple miles east. And then there's some more garbage trucks there that haven't been stolen. And then maybe we can see what happens to them. Sebastian and Naomi grabbed all their gear put on their jetpacks, and off they flew. It was just a few miles, so it didn't take long to get there in their jetpacks. As they were flying up by the clouds secretly, they had their binoculars to zoom in on those garbage trucks. Yeah, look at that, Naomi. Sebastian had found three garbage trucks that were still there. This is perfect. It's like we can use them for bait. If there's a bad guy nearby that is stealing these things... We'll be able to watch him, said Naomi. Sebastian and Naomi arrived just in time because 
there they were. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna grab this one. You guys grab those two, and uh, let's let's drive to our super secret location. Okay, I'll follow you," said the purple ninjas. They all jumped into the three garbage trucks and started driving away. Oh, great! There they are. There's the purple ninjas," said Sebastian. "I'm gonna go get them." Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, Sebastian," said Naomi. We got to follow them back to where they're bringing them. Then we'll be able to rescue all the garbage trucks. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that, said Sebastian. Sebastian and Naomi secretly followed behind the purple ninjas that were driving the garbage trucks into a secret location. This was a really good plan because then they could save all the rest of the trucks. As they got back to their secret locations, Sebastian and Naomi were able to radio it into HQ. HQ, HQ, come in. This is Sebastian, over. Shh, Sebastian, do you have any updates for us? Shh, yes, we're sending you the location now of all the garbage trucks. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's no surprise that they haven't been found yet, but I'm so glad that we're gonna get rid of this stinky mess. HQ was able to send a whole spy team out to help Sebastian and Naomi rescue all these garbage trucks from the Purple Ninjas. They returned them back to the drivers who were able to clean up this very stinky mess in all the local neighborhoods. Woohoo! They saved the day. Great job, Sebastian and Naomi. Wow, I cannot imagine if I had that mess in my neighborhood. That would have been so smelly and stinky. But I'm so glad that you guys chose to be brave and you saved the day. We'll see you next time, friends. Bye. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shout Out. So I want to say hey to Ellie and Aurelia from Dubai. West and Tennyson from Seattle, Washington. Camila from University Park, Texas. Natalie from Colorado. Butterflies from Garrett's Way in Newtown Square. Dominic and Joseph from, from Southern Australia. Carson from Somerville, South Carolina. And Joshua from Toronto. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day. Bye. <laughs>